the Joe Rogan experience. I was really impressed with the way Chuck handled that loss. Did you see the way Chuck talked about it on Instagram? He just basically said, you know, hey, man, you know, you, you put yourself out there. You go out there. You set goals. You know, you, you try. And if you fail, it doesn't doesn't mean you quit. You get back on your horse and yeah. you fucking get right back to it. And yeah, I try not to be so judgmental. He, he let go of all the hate and all the bullshit. Yeah, I was very great. impressed Me with too. him. Me too. And I like Chuck. He's a good person. Look, I try Chuck, not- is, if, you, if, if Tito's, or if uh, rather John Jones number one, Chuck's number two, as far as light heavyweights, great light heavyweights. He's he was the fucking man. I mean, he when was. when he defined the early days of the UFC, mm-hmm. one of the things about the UFC was like this crazy thing was like cage fighting. Then here's this guy with painted toenails and a mohawk and, and a, a head tattoo. tattoo, and he's just murking people, murking people. Biggest like was like the first big big star in our Huge sport to transcend star. and go go on to entourage and have commercials <laughs> and doing yeah. those fucking automotive commercials lived like a rock star too i mean that dude went hard where, where do you do stand you on- that, do you remember that one interview that he did where's where hammered it, he was on something he was on he, all the drugs he's on he's everything all- and he's like in, doing morning tv he's like yeah i'd like to fight uh the hulk <laughs> I wish he was real. <laughs> Isn't that great? It's like, I love that shit. I don't shit. know what the fuck he's said, but he was clearly on cloud nine. Like, he's an animal, man. Like, a, a legit bona fide Where do you stand animal. on letting those... Who's, whose responsibility is it? The guys like BJ Penn, who keeps losing, it's to find his legacy now. Guy like Anderson Silva. Where do you stand on letting those guys fight? It's a very good question. If, if you're Dana White, what do you do? Because well, at the end of the day, only do the so commissions much. can go, all right, physically... Yeah, man, he passed the fucking physical, so we got to let him fight. But at the end of the day, if they don't have a resource or a job from the head man, if Dana calls BJ <laughs> or Chuck, just like he yeah. did with Chuck, he's like, I'm not giving you a, a venue to fight at. It's not happening. So I, I wonder at what point, if you're Dana, let's say you're Dana, at what point do you tell these guys to stop fighting? Because I feel like for Anderson, although I don't remember him that way, the new generations remember him for being this guy. For BJ, the new generation only knows him as losing. We know him as one of the greats. Mm. So I, I feel like Here's if I'm Dana, I owe it to them to say you can't fight anymore. I don't know if BJ is capable of competing at the level that he's competing at right now when he's losing to these guys. I don't know if he is because it doesn't seem like he's capable of it. Well, he's lost, what, six in a row? Yeah. And if I look at the BJ that I saw against Ryan Hall, up until the time he gets leg locked, he looks fucking great. Well, that, that, that happened fast, though, bro. No, I know. I, I, I'm with you. I'm saying he looks like he's fit. He looks like he's in shape. He looks like he's a top fighter. But he almost needs to fight a young guy coming up so we can see. When he fights Clay Guida or he fights someone like that, it's almost he's losing. Yeah. And then Ryan Hall, he's losing. I feel like, I don't know. He's, like, not, he's not who he used to be. No, obviously not. You know, not. But I, I don't just, even know where his head's at. I feel like if I'm, if I'm Dana, I'm going, hey, man, I'm doing you guys a solid. You can't fight here anymore. And now they might go on to other organizations, but it's not the UFC. So they can go on there and compete, but you're not going to tarnish your legacy at the highest level here in the UFC. Not under no. my watch. No. So I it, it, I couldn't do it. I always, like, I'll never pick against BJ. I would never pick against Randy Couture. I just I don't have it in me. So when BJ fights, I'm like, I'll take BJ because I refuse to pick against him. That's no. how much I respect him. But at some point, I, I couldn't do it, and I don't – obviously, Dana can't either. Could you – be like hey dude no more we're done well i'd have to be friends with him like i was friends with you yeah you know i mean when when yaya rodriguez 360 roundhouse kicked him in the face that should have been the end i mean that well that was uh you saw that and compared to bj when bj beat sean shirk like you're looking at a this is a severely different fighter. Whose severely job is it different. to tell him? Family and friends, no I guess? No one's job. You know, here's the thing, man. We can't let the fighter decide. Well, what is? I don't think he should be competing at the highest level of the sport. But if he still wants to compete, like who's to say he can't? Who's to say he can't go to a small organization and fight for them? Who's to say? I mean, he's Whose not getting... choice is it, Joe? He's, he's not getting sparked out, you know? I mean, he's still conscious. He's not... Yeah, I know. He's getting beat... But he's not getting crushed. Nope. And not in all of the fights, at least. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Ryan Hall one is probably like the most... Um, um, s- Ryan Hall's going to tear anyone's knee off, though. I hate oh, yeah, to yeah. tell you. Oh, yeah. If, he gets, if they give him yeah. anybody, he's going to do that to your knee. Well, he's a phenomenal grappler and a super, super intelligent guy, too. But um, that was probably the the kindest way for him to lose. Yeah. Just to get tapped real quick. Rather oh, than just get a black belt. Beat up like Frankie Edgar did to him. Yeah, I know. You know? 
But I guess it maybe again the commission they have a tough job because like physically right. we can't see into his brain, but physically he's passing all the tests. Like who, like who, whose job Frankie? is it to tell Bernard Hopkins not take that last fight when he got knocked out of the yeah. fucking ring? Whose job was to tell Roy Jones don't go to Russia and get knocked out? Yeah, I, I it's don't a know. Story that's so old, I, so it repeats itself that's what over makes and over and over. These over guys where they got that's what makes these stories so great when they're in yeah. their prime and you're watching them on the come up and so special but it's also what makes this sport so fucking heartbreaking because you know who does do that the nfl and the nba they tell you no they tell you no that's it and it's very black and but white. that's because and someone has no to fill job. that position and they're not about nostalgia they're about who does the best job in that position shouldn't the ufc be that way Yeah, but it's not that the ufc doesn't know who does the best job in that position until they set you up with somebody when they see you over and over and over again then we've saw, but again, the argu- six. but the argument is he's not getting crushed. He's not getting sparked out. He's That's not getting knocked of, out. He's just argument. not as good as he used to be. No, yeah. it's not a good argument. But he's not. He's not as good as he used to be. It, it, you and know, I, I'm not saying I have the, I'm not arguing. Joe. So why do you I, think I he's still the there? Why do you think answer. he's still at the UFC? Um, why, he, why he hasn't don't found a passion. Him. He hasn't found a. I don't know why the because he's still a draw maybe. Yeah, that's a good question. Because because right now out of respect, is it out of respect? Like what is it? What he's done for the game, he's earned the right to go out on his own note. I don't but know. but the, the the stakes are so high in fighting, it's different than basketball. I don't know whose job it's and I don't have the answer and I I wish I did. I, I don't know. It's a it's the the most heartbreaking thing in sports, I think. I agree. And I think with BJ, if he would have found and I, I don't know BJ well enough, but if he would have found a passion like I did with stand up or podcasting or something else, yeah. he probably would have been out and never come back. Maybe, but the thrill but of that's what, what makes he BJ does, great. Yeah, I mean, he's a multiple time world champion. Mm-hmm. The thrill of BJ when he was in his prime is probably indescribable. Like what brings Nate Diaz back, even though he has money in the bank? What's going to bring Connor back? Yeah. It's, it's not money. Yeah, this, those excitement. guys were born fighters. They're natural born fighters. Mm-hmm. This is what they do, and that's that's what makes them feel alive. So I don't know. Yeah, the excitement, and the yeah. thrill, the the fucking. I mean, and look, we're all gonna die. It's like it, it, when people say you should look out for their health. Well, then we should stop fighting altogether. Correct, and, and stop no playing stop, football. Yeah, stop and doing we should everything. Stop drinking, and no more driving. Yeah. Driving's dangerous. Go walk planes. everywhere. If we just walk and people get in accidents walking, they'll be fine. They'll yep. bump into each other. It's yep. no big deal. That would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's there's a real argument for that, right? Like this is this, you have a small window to yeah. experience this life. Do it I any way it. you want. But yeah, with a guy like BJ Penn, the reality is there should probably be a number of fights that you lose in the UFC where you could just get cut. Y- it know? used to be three. Was it a a signed in paper thing? No, but man, when you've lost two, which I did, that <clears throat> third one, Joe Silva would tell your manager, and he told my manager, like McMa- Lex McMahon goes, you know, mm. with this one, you know, it's it's probably over. We're gonna, yeah. and, no, he wouldn't say that. He'd go, we'd, we're giving him one more. And you knew mm. that was like, that was your shot. If you lost, you were done. Boy. Even if you won but by decision, they wouldn't cut you. 